Hi everyone! I know we have quite a few sweet potato fans at nursery, so I thought that today's activity um, would be inspired by one of my favourite sweet potato stories. It's called Sweet Potato Run Veggies Run. It was night time in the supermarket, but Sweet Potato and the veggies were going for the burn. Come on, veggies! You can do it! That they're all using this conveyor belt like a treadmill. They're running along as it moves and they look very tired. Oh no, shouted Pear. Broccoli's in the backing area. Quick, grapefruit, turn off the conveyor belt, shouted Sweet Potato. Phew, what's the point of all this nonsense, said Carrot. To keep fit, of course. Who ever heard of an unhealthy vegetable, Sweet Potato grinned. Just look at yourselves. It's time we got you fruit and veggies into shape. Sweet Potato thought for a minute. I know. Let's have a sports day, he said. Everyone groaned. Oh, there'll be prizes. Everyone cheered. Hooray! Do you remember when we had sports day at nursery? It was the day when some of the parents came to watch and we all lined up. And when it was time... We ran and we did different races and we found out who was the winner and we all got stickers. That was a really good day. Attention, shouted Sweet Potato as they all limbered up. It's time for the first events, running and jumping and spinning. Asparagus, you can be the starter. Then, suddenly, the ground shook. Boom, boom, boom. Oh no, said Cucumber, it's the evil pea. <gasps> Everyone gasped. <gasps> the evil pea was grinning. Gloria here wishes to enter your competition, he said. <gasps> what kind of fruit is Gloria? She's a watermelon and she is ginormous. A uh, pleasure to meet you, Gloria, said Sweet Potato. Crush opponents, win prizes, win prizes, prizes, prizes. Hmm, thought Sweet Potato. It's not a very normal way to talk, is it? Okay, let's start the race. Carrot, you're in lane one. Broccoli, lane two. Cucumber, lane three. And... Uh, Gloria, you can take four, five and six. She's so big that she needs three lanes to run in. Ready, steady. What do they say? Go. You can see lots of spectators here holding signs. This one says Gloria. This one says go carrot. And this one says we love soup potato. They will never defeat my robot, sniggered the evil pea. Those prizes are as good as mine. Wah, ah, ah, ah. Here he is down here with his remote control. And now we know that Gloria is actually a robot. That's not fair. That's cheating. Gloria won the running. I'm not surprised. The jumping. Look how much higher she jumped than the other competitors. The spinning and the lifting of heavy things. In fact, she won everything. And you can see here that Gloria's won some trophies and some medals for coming first in all her races and her competitions. Time to be off, Gloria, said the evil pea. We have all the prizes. Our work here is done. Well, actually, said Sweet Potato, there is one more event to go, swimming. And I can see he's filling up one of the freezers here with some water. I think they're gonna use it like a swimming pool. And here's Gloria. She's quickly put on her swimming hat and her goggles. Must win prizes, crush, win. Stop, Street Evil Pea. I don't think you should be doing any swimming, Gloria. You're not really a watermelon. But it was too late. And they're rough, shouted Asparagus. 
Gloria was well in the lead. I can see they've all done a dive into the water here. And there goes Gloria in the lead. But then she started crackling and sparking. <laughs> I don't think she's supposed to go in the water. And juggling. <gasps> Just as I suspected, said Sue Potato. That's no melon. It's a robot. And the water is making it go berserk. Sue Potato to the rescue. He scooped up the swimmers and took them to safety. Hooray for Sue Potato. But just as Sue Potato flew back to deal with the melon bot, it exploded. Is this the end for Sue Potato? Panicked the pineapples. Not this time. And here he comes and he saved a little baby corn on the cob. Oh, said the evil pea, time for a 100 metre dash. And he's running away because he knows he's in trouble. Not so fast, pea. There are no prizes for cheating. It's back to the freezer for you. It's a good thing we've seen the last of that naughty melon bot, said one fish finger to the other. Win prizes. Bzzz. I'll be back. Oh my goodness, I'm a bit nervous about that ending. I hope that melon bot won't be back. But I like that story because I really like sports days and I also really like the way that even though the evil pea tried to cheat, he didn't win in the end, did he? So I thought that I'd have a go at home at making my own sports day using all of my cuddly toys and some of the things that I got in my latest activity pack. So Maybe you could watch and maybe, if you think it looks like fun, you could have a go at making your own sports day. So the first thing I'm going to need if I'm going to have my own sports day are some competitors, some athletes, and they're the people who are taking part in my competition. And in Sue Potato, the competitors were three vegetables, weren't they? We had a carrot, we had broccoli, and we had a cucumber, and then we of course had Gloria. So... I've chosen some competitors. Let me introduce them to you. This is Rocky. This is Moo Moo. And this is Snaps. Now we've got to watch Snaps because Snaps is not always very kind. He doesn't always play by the rules and he sometimes cheats. So will you help me keep an eye on Snaps, please? What I need for my sports day are some spectators. Spectators are like the audience at sporting events and they're really, really important because they cheer on the team or the person that they want to win. They make lots of noise and they make the whole event really exciting. Without spectators, some sports might feel a little bit boring. So let me show you my spectators. Here they are. I've lined up my colleagues. Now my spectators have brought along some signs to help them cheer because in Super Potato, the spectators were holding flags and banners. So I can see that sign there says, run, Moo Moo, run. So these teddies must really want Moo Moo to win. And this one here says, go, that elephant's holding a flag. And oh, it looks like that Ewan and Boofles really want Rocky to win. They've got a sign that says, we heart Rocky, we love Rocky. So don't forget to give your spectators at home some signs that they can hold. You can use some of the cards and the things that you found in your activity pack to make some really good signs for your spectators. Now, in the story, Sue Potato asks Asparagus to be the starter. And his job is to wave the flag and tell the veggies when to start running. So Asparagus was the starter. And I've got my own starter. I've actually made him a judge. This is Mr. Grumps, and Mr. Grumps is in charge of telling everybody when to start, and he's also in charge of keeping the score. Now, the other day, I watched a Zoom call that Josh did with some children from Green Room and Quiet Room, and he taught everybody how to make a pirate hat. So I've used Josh's pirate hat to make a little hat for my judge, and I've written on it, j a d j judge so there we go, Mr. Grumps is my judge, and you can see he's got a scoreboard here with pictures of 
Moo Moo and Rocky and Snaps. And he's going to keep score for me while my competitors are taking part in the now event. My first event is going to be a running race. And when the veggies had a running race, they all stood in lanes. And you can see that these lanes have got numbers in. Number one, two, three, four, five, and six are actually upside down in this picture. Um, and I remember that Gloria needed lanes four, five, and six because she was so big. So I'd used some of the tape that I found in my activity pack to make a starting line. And on some sticky labels, I've written number one, number two, and number three. And you can see if you go all the way across my sports day to the end where Mr. Grumps, the judge is, I've got my finish line. So I'm ready. All I need now is for the competitors to take their places. And it's time for the competitors to take their place. In lane one, we have the reigning champion. It's Rocky. Woo! There we go, there's Rocky. Woo, Rocky, we love you. In lane two, it's Moo Moo. Woo, go Moo Moo. And in lane three, please take your place. It's Crocs. Boo. Oh no, he's not very popular with the audience. I think they might know that he sometimes likes to cheat. Hang on a second, everybody. Snaps is holding something. What's he got? Oh, he's hiding it. Hmm. Well, hopefully it's nothing. Okay. And it's over to our judge, Mr. Grumps, to begin proceedings. On your marks. Get set. Go. And they're off. Rocky. Starts out, he's got a strong lead, here he goes, with Moo Moo close behind him. Oh, but Snaps is coming up. Here comes Snaps. Hang on a second. What's that Snaps is holding? <gasps> he's throwing a banana skin. And it's heading right towards Rocky. <gasps> they keep running. They keep running. Whoa, Rocky! This leaves just two of them in the competition. It's Snaps versus Moo Moo. Who will be the first to cross the finish line? Oh, Moo Moo's out in front. But, oh, Snaps just takes the lead. Old Rocky's been left miles from the finish line where he slipped on a banana. Oh, I think his head's feeling a bit sore. So now it's time for the judge to give out the scores. Because he fell over. Poor Rocky only gets one point. Moo Moo came second, so he gets two. But Snaps won, so Snaps gets three points. Oh dear, it's not looking good for poor Rocky. The judge obviously didn't see what Snaps did. Ooh, yeah! Go Rocky! Boo boo, we love you! Go! So the next event is hoop rolling. Rocky's turn first. Rocky, push. Absolutely fantastic effort for, from Rocky. Let's put a rrr for Rocky by his Next score. Up, it's Moo Moo's turn. Moo Moo takes the hoop. Oh, Moo Moo's. Oh, uh oh, Moo Moo. That went a little bit off course. Let's put a mmm for Moo Moo by his score. And finally, it's Snaps' turn. Snaps, push the hoop. Oh, Snaps. Snaps did not do very well in that one. Well done. Well done, Snaps. Good effort. So as you can see, Rocky was way out in the lead with Moo Moo just behind and Snaps at the back. Let's see what the scores uh, are. The judge says that Snaps scores one point for his score because his didn't go very far. Moo Moo gets two points and Rocky receives three points for his brilliant role. Well done, Rocky. How many points do they each have now? They each have four points. And the final event is the long jump. Our competitors are ready. They've warmed up. Let's see who's going first. Uh, it looks like Snaps is going to go first. Snaps steps back a bit. He needs a run up for this. He runs to the line and... <gasps> and it's a fantastic jump for Snaps. Look how far he's jumped. This is going to be a hard one to beat. Right now, Moo Moo... Moo Moo's turn. He needs a run up in lane two. And off he goes. 
<laughs> oh dear, Mumu's obviously not a natural jumper. Good effort, Mumu. Well done. And finally, Rocky. Now, don't forget that Rocky has got a hard score to beat. He's got to jump a long way. Rocky runs back. The crowd is cheering for him. Rocky, 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 Rocky. Hopefully that will give him some motivation. And here he goes. He's taking a run up. <sighs> And I don't believe it. I've never seen a jump like this before. Oh, and he's heading straight towards Croc. Oh. <sighs> Who won, everybody? Who jumped the furthest? It was Rocky! 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 Oh, wow. The crowd is very pleased. Mr. Grumps, the judge, to tell everybody the final score. Our competitors have gathered round. They're eagerly waiting to hear who's won. So, with one point and in last place, it's Moo Moo. Well done, Moo Moo. Really good effort. With two points, it's Croc. He came second. Well done, Croc. But our winner, do you remember who won our long jump? The winner with three points is Rocky. One two, three points. Time to add up the score. Let's start with Moo Moo. One, two, three, four, five. Good effort, Moo Moo. Now let's do snaps. One, two, three, four, five, six points for snaps. Oh, but I think, let's check. Rocky's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. That means Rocky, is the winner. So the only thing left to do is to have the awards ceremony. And this is what happens at the end of sporting events when the winner is given their prize. Now I've made my own podium and that's where the winner and the other runners up stand at the end of a sporting event. So I've got a tall platform for first place, I've got a slightly lower platform for second place. And then I've written a number three down here for the person in third place. I've also made a gold medal for the winner and I used some of the things that I found in my activity pack to make this medal. So in third place, he's a very fair competitor. He did very well and he tried his best. It's Moo Moo, well done Moo Moo. In second place, he's learnt that cheating doesn't pay. It snaps, boo. And our winner, our reigning champion, is Rocky. Give him a cheer, everybody. Woo, well done, Rocky. And here's Rocky's medal. Oh, well, it fits on his head. There we go. Well done, Rocky. I really hope you enjoyed watching me make my sports day. And I really hope that it's inspired you to have a go at playing with some of your cuddly toys at home. I really like playing imaginative games because I get to decide exactly what happens. I really like making all the props. Do you remember some of the things that I made for my sports day? I made some signs for the spectators. I had to make a medal for the winner. That was Rocky. I had to make a podium for my competitors to stand on. I had to make sure I kept score on the scoreboard and I had to make sure I had a starting line and a finish line and I also practiced writing my numbers didn't I when I wrote the numbers on labels to make the lanes so don't forget before you do a sports day there are lots of things that you're going to need to make to get ready I hope you have fun